More than a thousand dogs in northwestern Indiana and Chicago have contracted canine influenza. Now the dog flu has made its way to Tippecanoe County. News 18 Samantha Tiki joins us with more on those cases and what pet owners can do to protect their dogs. Sam. Gina, staff at the Purdue University College of Veterinary Medicine diagnosed five dogs with canine influenza late Thursday afternoon. And now that the flu has reached Tippecanoe County, pet owners should be on the lookout for symptoms. It is highly contagious. At this point, it's not time to panic, it's time to prepare. Creekside Animal Hospital veterinarian Pam Jackson says now that five cases of canine influenza have been confirmed in Tippecanoe County, the clinic is ready to prevent and treat the illness. We now have the um, kit ready to start testing. The next time we do get a dog come in that looks like it could be typical of canine influenza, we certainly can test for that. Purdue University's Pet Wellness Clinic Director Steve Thompson says the dogs were diagnosed with canine influenza Thursday Day after showing symptoms including coughing, fever, and loss of appetite. Three of the five dogs diagnosed were from the same home. He says the other two dogs were from separate homes and they are still trying to figure out where the dogs came into contact with the virus. The dogs we've diagnosed have not had a travel history, so within the past week they've been in town, so this is the virus is here in Lafayette. Since March, more than a thousand dogs in Chicago have been affected by two different strains of the flu. The H3N8 strain is common and can be avoided with a vaccination, but it's unclear whether the vaccine is effective against the newer H3N2 strain recently detected in the Chicago outbreak. However, Thompson says flu-related deaths are low. Most of the treatment's going to be supportive eating, drinking, potentially moderating. Um, a fever and then antibiotics if the dog is not getting better, usually within one or two days. Thompson says the vaccine could lessen the impact of the flu and owners should vaccinate their pets if they spend a lot of time around other dogs or if the animal is old, young, or has a weak immune system. If your dog is diagnosed with the flu, Thompson says recovery can take several days. It hits them pretty hard for one or two days um, and then they can rebound. Thompson says this dog flu is no threat to humans, but if pet owners come into contact with a sick dog, humans can spread it to other dogs. Samantha Tiki, News 18. All right.